Let's solve problem 4.45 for Microelectronic Circuit Taste Edition by Cedrin Smith. We're going to solve 4.9, but we're going to use the constant voltage drop down model this time, where VD equals 0 0.7 volts. Then we're going to compare our results from the original question using the ideal diode model. So for the rectifier circuit here, let the input have a sine wave with a 120 volt root mean square value. And this time the diode is not ideal. It's going to be a constant voltage drop. And we want to select the suitable value for R so that the peak diode current does not exceed 40 milliamps. OK, let's start with that question. So what does 20, 120 volt root mean square value mean? Well, if this is our input, right? It's got some kind of sine wave where this is time and this is Vn. Vrms is just the square root of the mean of all values. And this is an important number because it relates to the peak value of the voltage. Where V peak, the maximum input is equal to Vrms multiplied by the square root of 2. This is a very important relationship that you'll use quite often. So if you want to solve for a suitable current, or a suitable R so that the current does not exceed 40 milliamps, well, how can we express the current? Well, we know that V equals IR, so therefore I equals V divided by R. So what's the voltage across this circuit? Well, it would be V in, or in this case, we're wanting to use the peak value, right? Because we want the peak current to not exceed 40 milliamps. And because we're using a constant voltage drop diode model, we need to account for the voltage drop across this diode, which is 0 0.7 volts. And then we just return to ground. And that's going to be divided by our R, which we haven't selected yet. And this needs to be less than or equal to 40 milliamps. So we can use this expression to solve for R. Basically, we can just multiply R to the other side and divide 40 milliamps. So we get R needs to be greater than or equal to the input peak voltage, which is 120 times the square root of 2 volts minus 0 0.7 volts divided by 40 milliamps. So this means that the minimum resistance we need is about 4.23 kilo ohms. And then if we compare this to the original question, I actually get pretty much the same value. So this 0 0.7 volts is very negligible. It looks like when I solved it in the other video, I got 4.22 kilo ohms. So barely any difference. Okay, what about the greatest reverse voltage? Uh, so that's just going to be equal to the maximum, the maximum peak. So that's just 120 root 2, which is equal to 169.7 volts. So this value doesn't even change from the original problem. So you can see that for some circuits, the voltage drop across the diode is negligible, but for other circuits, it is very critical, usually when the voltage you're working with is pretty small.